Up to the end of the 1990s, London's vote shares for the major parties were very similar to those for the country as a whole. It was more like Britain than anywhere else. Since then, Labour's done much better and the Conservatives significantly less well. The Liberal Democrats haven't done so well either. In the coming election, the Liberal Democrats are going to do significantly better, partly because of Brexit, and both Labour and the Conservatives are going to fall back. So, uh, you know, London will remain more Labour than any other party, but not overwhelmingly so. And the crack dealers and the greys and hoes couldn't touch me then when baby I was yours and I love London the inner London, which is an affluent area, uh, Brexit will be a very important issue and it gives the Liberal Democrats a greater chance and in some of the outer boroughs a chance to win where they would normally wouldn't have it. But even but in the east of the city, in the more traditionally Labour areas, I think there it's more likely that it'll be a, you know, Brexit will play a role, but, you know, spending on the health service and education will play probably a bigger role there than in the inner part of the city. Well, I think what's happened since uh, 2017, the last election, is that Labour's vote has fallen back by 15 or 16 percent in London, presumably as a reflection of its muddled position on Brexit in part, and for some voters its dislike of Jeremy Corbyn as a leader. And those two have taken this huge chunk of votes away from the party, which got over half the votes in London as recently as 2017. Boris Johnson was popular as Mayor of London. He'll doubtless campaign in the city as the campaign goes on. People love to walk down streets with him, having selfies taken on their telephones. And I think he still does have some capacity to win votes in London. Uh, the Conservatives have in recent years not done that well in national elections, even though he won it as mayor. So I think he will want to try to bring some of his magic dust back to uh, London uh, to try to help the party, his party here. London has a dem demographics like other big cities around the world which are different to the rest of its country. It's younger, more migrant voters, a whole range of issues that mean it tends to be more progressive, more centre-left in a way you see in other cities around the world. So it's not unique to the UK this, but it's becoming more pronounced in London, actually to some degree, in other cities such as uh, Manchester and Leeds and Edinburgh as well. Yeah, I still